Hey guys, this is the second and the last uh, video for the uh, Killing the Witch tutorial. Uh, now this is the part we will actually, we are going to start to uh, kill the witches. Uh, also make sure you watch part 1 before you watch uh, this part. The video that you see here on the screen is the previous video, just in case if you did not watch uh, part 1, make sure you watch it so that you can get an idea of what's going on here. That's the name you can see on the screen, how to kill the witch uh, tutorial, part 1 of 2. Uh, this now, this part here is uh, part 2 of 2, which is the last part. So now let's uh, get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do before you kill the witch is that you must turn off the flashlight. The reason is, is because if you leave the flashlight on, she will be alerted much faster, much quicker than if you turned it off. You do not want her to be uh, alerted much quicker because you want to give yourself as much time as possible to kill her. It's normal, the more time you give to yourself to kill her, the, the easier it will be. And the faster the time that you will have to kill her, it, w uh, it will be more difficult. That's why you have to turn off the flashlight, especially, especially for the witch who's sitting down. Because this one get alerted much, much quicker than the ones that are walking around, if the flashlight is on. As you can hear, see I'm outside and you see the bots are uh, far away from me. We have no zombies, no nothing, no special infected, nothing will bother me. So the only thing remaining is to um, spawn a witch and kill her. Now I'm going to put the cheat that will uh, spawn the witch. You can see here the cheat on the screen. Once you type that in, the witch should respawn right in the area that you were uh, pointing at. Now we have the witch here. Now the easiest way for me to kill her is to go from the front and wait until she's fully alerted and then kill her while I'm too close to her, as you can see right now. You see, notice that I waited until she became fully alerted and you saw her hands com coming from the sides, you know, that she's about to hit me and then I, I give her the shot in her head. This will work with any difficulty, whether, it, whether it's expert mode or easy mode. So now let's do it again. Wait for her until she come to me and then when she's alerted, give her a bullet in her head. And that's it, she's dead. You can either shoot her either in the head or the face, it will kill her. You can see here I'm going toward her and she's about to get alerted. You can see her hand and she is um, acting uh, weird. That means she's about to get alerted. Now I'm going very close to her. I could have shot her here if I want to right now, but I waited until she's alerted. You can see her hands spread, which means she's about to hit me. Now I made my shot to her head. I know you might say, okay, but why you didn't uh, shot her from the beginning? before before she have to be alerted the reason is it's because I was not very close to her not not because you have a shotgun with you and you shot her in the head it does not mean that she will die you have to be very very close to her you have to be like all you have to be like touching her in order to make the the shotgun kill her from the first shot the reason is if you're not touching her while you were while you were shooting her in the head you will not be able to kill her with one shot. You have to do another shot in her head in order to kill her. Uh, the problem is you will not have time to make your second shot because uh, she will get you before you even shoot another, uh, another bullet. The problem is as soon as you touch her, she will be alerted and then she will start attacking you. That's why I waited until she get alerted before I shoot her because when she was alerted I know for sure I was uh, touching her and if I'm touching her if uh, and I made the, the shot either in the head or the face I will kill her from the first shot. I'm saying this because a lot of time I saw players like they think that they were touching her like they were very close to her but they shot her before they touched her and as a result it did not kill her from the first shot. Uh, that's why it's better that you do not make your shot until uh, she become alerted because this is the time when you will know for sure that you're touching her. Now, assume that you cannot do it with one shot only and it's very difficult. There is another way you can actually kill her with two shots if you want. Just in case if one shot is very difficult for you, you can actually do it with two shots, which I will show you right now. Now I'm going to go to another spot here. And I'm going to spawn another witch, but this time I'm going to kill her with two shots. 
now let's repeat this in slow motion now this time as soon as I go to her I'm going to shoot her I'm not going to wait until she's fully alerted as I did before as I did when when I shot her from the front you see this time right away as soon as I as soon as I went to her I give her the two shots also you have to be very close to her when you when you shoot her two times if you're not very close to her and you try to shoot her it will take about three times in order to kill her that means you will actually be dead by that time you can only do this with two shots you will not even have time to do the third one so make sure you're very close in order to be able to kill her with the two shots only and in order to do it with two shots only as you saw you must first touch her so make sure you're very very close to her before you uh, do the two shots now let's go and try to kill the witch who is uh, sitting down uh, killing the witch that is sitting down is a little bit more difficult than the one who's walking it's because w when you start to come close to her she start to come up she start to stand up which will become a little bit difficult to aim exactly at her head before she become alerted to you so in order to spawn the sitting witch we have to change this campaign to another campaign which uh, the dark carnival and we will put the exact same cheat that we put in this campaign but since we will put the cheat in uh, dark carnival it will uh, spawn the sitting witch so let's first select the dark carnival uh, campaign uh, on your keyboard uh, press the key that is under the escape key here, here are the two symbols that are uh, located on the key just press that key next you should see uh, this uh, text box on your screen you can see a text box at the bottom and there is you know the button on the right here is the text box where you will put the cheat that will uh, allow you to go to the uh, dark carnival level so we will select the, the level at the last level of the dark carnival campaign in order to do that we will type this in the text box then press the button on the right uh, once you press the button uh, dark carnival campaign should start loading and the map should start after the loading is done also here make sure you leave a space between the word map and the name of the the campaign like here you see the word map and then c2m5 make sure you, there is a space between them if you do not leave a space between them it will not work okay guys here i just fast forward i already loaded the dark carnival campaign and i fast forward a little bit moved up a little bit here in the stage uh, behind me on the stage i have a very large f uh, fans from behind they are supporting me so i will show them to you after i'm done with the killing the witches uh, one thing you want to know about the witches that are, s that are sitting is that um, even when you touch her she, do she does not get alerted she first have to stand up and then after she stand up fully for about i don't know like about two seconds then she become alerted and start attacking uh, these are different from the witches that were uh, walking because the walking witches as soon as you touch any of them they will be alerted right away and they will start attacking so that's a big difference that i want you to keep in mind when you are uh, trying to kill the, the witch that is sitting i am saying this is because when you want to kill the witch who is sitting down you have to first touch her but at the same time you have to wait until she stand up then after she stand up you will make your shot either in her head or on her uh, face yeah so don't do the mistake by say, by thinking that okay if i touch her she's going to get alerted right away and sh she will start attacking me no she will not attack you right away because she she act differently than the witch who is uh, walking so here first i want to show you something i want to show you the difficulty here we have difficulty it, the expert is uh, grayed out which means it's the currently uh, selected difficulty now i'm going to spawn the witch by typing the cheat in and now we have a witch in front of us again get close and shoot her in the head or the face as you can see here uh, thank you thank you very much everyone um, i really appreciate it uh, thanks a lot thank you uh, th okay th thank you very much please we, we have to uh, stop so that we can also continue to uh, do more of this 
Okay guys, sorry about that. These were just my fans uh, sitting in the back and watching while I'm doing. So sorry about the, all of these noises. Okay, so now let's respawn another witch and kill her again so that you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn a witch uh, right in this area. So I will just type in the cheat that you know, Z spawn witch. And then our witch is ready. So here is the witch. I will do the same thing, come to her, get close and then shoot her in the head or the face. Now let's see this in slow motion, just in case if you didn't see what happened in the beginning. Now I'm in front of her, waiting until she stand up. Okay, I already touched her. All of this I'm already touching her guys. And then waiting until she stands. I'm just trying to uh, fix my aiming because I was not aiming right. Now she's not gonna stand much uh, longer than this. Now I gave her the shot. You can see the shot game came right into her face. And now she is uh, dead. You can see here it's very simple but still it requires you know, a little bit of practice. That's why I recommended that you had unlimited health because a lot of time you will fail when you get her. So that's why you should always get unlimited health. They cheat for it. Okay, so now I will repeat this again in the normal view, then I will show you my uh, fans in the back. So now again I'm going close to her and then wait and do the shot before she hit me. Uh, okay guys, I'm going to now show you my audience before I uh, finish this video. I know you probably are waiting for a very long time just to know who they are. Very, very peaceful people, very, very nice people. I'm sure most of you would want to be friends to them. Okay guys, you can see here my audience, I'm already standing on the top so that you all can see me. You can see all of them are sitting here together. Uh, so even if you guys did not like the video and you give it uh, one star out of five on YouTube and nobody want to visit it, who, who cares? I don't really care. Uh, look at all of these uh, fans, all of these fans that are sitting we have by the hundreds and we have each actually have much more of them outside. They could not come inside, they, have, they had to watch through a very large screen of uh, what I'm doing. So you see even here, one of them here, she actually come in, she, she could not resist uh, coming up here close to me. And here you see, look, we have another one too. We have another one coming in. You see, they cannot even resist coming in just to come in close. O also guys, one thing about my fan is that they love fireworks. They just cannot resist. Whenever they see fireworks, they just become crazy about it. Okay everyone, I want you all to shut up for one second because I want to uh, use a firework here and make the night uh, become much better for all of us. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to throw this firework so that we can light up the place a little bit and you know, make them uh, feel happier. And you can see here, they are all running toward me because they want to thank me for making the night uh, become much better for them.